Okay, now we're going to talk about the rational zeros theorem. And what I'm going to do is explain to you what the theorem says, and I'll do that by working through a simple example. And then I'll come back and explain to you why the theorem works. And then we will work through a few more examples, and I'll point out some important concepts and ideas along the way as we work through those. Let me say before we get started that you need to understand synthetic division before you try to tackle this. We will use synthetic division a lot as we work through examples that involve the rational zeros theorem. So make sure you have that down. If you need to, go back and get that squared away before coming back to this. But here we go, the rational zeros theorem. The rational zeros theorem says that if you need to factor a polynomial such as this, 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus x plus 6. If you need to factor this, you can look at this number here, what we sometimes call the constant term because there's no variable there, and this number here, which we sometimes call the lead coefficient because it's the coefficient on the lead term. You look at those two numbers and you take this one and that one, and in this case we will think about factors of 6 over factors of 2. So let's think about the factors of 6 real quick. That's easy. 1, 2, 3, and 6. Those are the factors of 6. And we could have positive or negative. And divide those by factors of 2, 1 or 2. So let's make a list of all the possible fractions we could make by using one of these numbers over one of these numbers. So we'll do this systematically. We'll start here with 1 over 1, which is just 1. And then next one we'll do 1 over 2, which is a half. And then for the next one we'll do 2 over 1, which is 2. And then we'll do 2 over 2, which is 1. That's already in the list, so I'm not going to rewrite it. But then I have 3 over 1, which is 3, so that's my next one. And then 3 over 2, which is 3 halves, so I'll put that in the list. And then I have 6 over 1, that's 6, and then I have 6 over 2, which is 3, and that's already in the list. So this list is all of the possible numbers that can be made by taking a factor of 6 and dividing it by a factor of 2, and I'll put a little plus minus out front, and that plus minus applies to all of these. And what I've done here is not really a standard notation, but I think my meaning is clear. I mean all the possible numbers that can be made by doing this, taking factors of the constant term divided by factors of the lead coefficient. The rational zeros theorem says that this is a good place to look for zeros of this polynomial. In fact, if there are any zeros of that polynomial that are rational numbers, and you see the name there, rational zeros, if there are any, polynomial, any, any zeros of that polynomial that are rational numbers, then they will be in that list. So what we'll do now is just try them, and I'm going to start at the beginning and work through them one at a time and see if we find any that are that are zeros. So so we'll start we'll start with um with one here. Okay, so I set up the synthetic division and I write down my coefficients two, negative five, negative one, six, and let's see if this works. We're gonna be seeing if x minus one is a factor. So bring out bring out bring down our two, two times one is two we add, we get negative 3, times 1 is negative 3, we add and we get negative 4, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and we add and we get 2. So that one didn't work. So let's try the next one, 1 half. So we'll set up the synthetic division here, 2, negative 5, negative 1, 6, and we bring down the 2. 2 times 1 half is 1, and we add right here and we get negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 half is negative 2. And we add there and we get negative 3. Negative 3 times 1 half is negative 3 halves. And we add there and we get uh, 4 and a half or 4.5. That one didn't work either. So let me uh, free up a little bit of space here. So let's try the next one the 2, and I write down my coefficients, 2, negative 5, negative 1, 6, and bring down the 2, 2 times 2 is 4, we add and we get negative 1, 
negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, and we add there and we get negative 3. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and we add and we get a 0. Aha, right there. We have found a factor. The fact that we get a 0 remainder down here means that x minus 2 is a factor, and these other coefficients give us the other factor. So this polynomial up here, our original polynomial, factors as x minus 2, and then we look down here, x squared minus x minus 3. Oh, excuse me, that's a 2 right there, 2x squared minus x minus 3. So we factored our polynomial. Now, we could go on and factor this. That's a quadratic. We can always factor a quadratic. The point here, though, is that we have found a factor. Using this list of numbers and synthetic division, we found a factor of the polynomial. And we found that factor by using the rational zeros theorem, which says that if there are any factors or any zeros of this polynomial that are rational numbers, that they will be in this list. And that list is found by taking factors of the constant term, dividing by factors of the lead coefficient.